I seek But what belongs to me In truth I seek But what belongs to me Breathe that in for a moment. To seek only what already belongs to me. To seek what already is mine. It's, it's always amazing how the thinking of the world and the thinking of spirit are always in complete reverse. Because the ego is always getting us to try and seek what does not belong to us. What we want. What we think will somehow add to who we are. Right? Right? If I had more money, if I had a bigger car, a bigger house, better relationships, then I would be happier, I would be more fulfilled. But it never works. It's always a carrot on the stick. And the reason is simple, because you already have everything that you need. And when you are seeking for something that you don't have, of course the focus is out here. And that is exactly what the ego wants. For you to be focused in the world, rather than to realize that it's only in seeking that which is already mine that that which is already mine is revealed and I realize I have an experience of my totality. We talk so much about the experience. We're not coming here to talk or to discuss or try and figure anything out. We're here so that we can fall backwards and surrender into the experience of who I already am, who I've always been, who I can't stop being, and what is already mine. That's it. And we do that by joining together, as we do here, both in this room and all over the world, 
And we support each other. We're fanning the flame of that experience. And when we join together on a consistent level, then it's harder to forget. And it becomes more of a concrete feeling, an experience. Whereas before, seeking what I don't have already is the norm. That's the concrete experience. And so we live in a world where that's all that happens. But beyond this world, there is a world that I really want. And that's the world where I realize and seek only that which is already mine. And I was reading the lesson here earlier, and a couple of little parts I wanted to share because they're so beautiful. It says, Today we would remove all meaningless and self-made gifts which we have placed upon the holy altar where only God's gifts belong. Remove all the meaningless and self-made gifts in favor of the gifts which are already mine. These are the gifts which are our own in truth. His are the gifts which we inherited before time was, and which will still be ours when time has passed into eternity. These are the gifts which are within us now, for they are timeless, and we need not wait to have them. That's very good news. They belong to us today, therefore we will have them now, and know in choosing them in place of what we made, we but unite our will with what God wills, and recognize the same as being one. That's beautiful. Recognize the same as being one. They belong to us today. They are timeless. I seek but what belongs to me in truth. I mean, I think that this just gives us the ability to relax and to fall backwards and to trust and to know that even if that isn't our immediate experience, even if I do find myself grasping for stuff outside myself, that's okay. Just pashto, something we say a lot here. It means so what? So what? So you, so you find yourself doing this. Just notice it and then choose again. I'm only seeking what belongs to me in truth, not which I think does not belong to me, which I somehow want to get. And if I can get it, then I'll be happy. No. It's only by releasing that which you already have and being in service. That's why we talk so much about that. You have to be the source of that. When you're the source of that goodness, then goodness is the only thing that's going to come back to you. But when you're trying to hold that back and get goods rather than goodness, well, guess what happens? So let's sing this one more time. I seek but what belongs to me in truth and feel it even deeper. Ready? Here we go. I seek but what belongs to me in truth. I seek but what belongs to me in truth. I seek but what belongs to me in truth I see but what belongs to me in truth in truth the joy and peace of God my inheritance I will seek what belongs to me here we go I seek but what belongs to me
But what belongs to me 